Brothers and sisters, our offering for uh, today is New Life Women's Home, also known as uh, New Life Girls Home, and uh, that is uh, a wonderful organization in Trenton that uh, helps to uh, seeks to help uh, young ladies and women who are facing a life-controlling problems, uh, everything from addiction to abuse, and uh, we just. Yeah, want to encourage you to check that information out. You can Google New Life Girl Ho Girls Home or New Life Women's Home. Uh, you can find information there, or you can check out the bulletin if you've received that as well. And uh, yeah, during these days of uh, physical distancing and so on, uh, sadly, um, there are more women than ever, uh, seemingly facing uh, abuse and other struggles and so uh, we need to support them uh, significantly during this time. Let us come to the Lord in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for bringing us together this morning. Lord, we pray that you will bless the folks of New Life Women's Home. Lord, we pray that you will guide them as they minister to clients, that you will help the clients themselves, that you will um, yeah, provide opportunities to get out of whatever life-controlling situations or problems uh, they are facing, whether it be addiction or whether it be abuse or whatever it is, O oh God. Lord, we pray, too, that uh, our tithes and offerings would be a pleasing aroma to you. May they go to your glory alone. Father, we pray as well that you would continue to be with our country, be with our world, be with our leaders, uh, both uh, in, yeah, in all levels of government, but also our leaders in business and industry and education. Lord God, please. Uh, help our church leaders as well, both in our own denomination, but in, uh, but also in uh, all the other denominations in Canada as well. Father, may people of faith um, truly shine your light in this world during these days. Father, we pray too, not only for leaders, um, yeah, however you define that, but also for all of us who are in in the pews normally, uh, who serve in whatever capacities we serve in. And Lord, we just pray that you would guide us, that we may share your love uh, during this time. May we be uh, alert to how we can serve our communities in your name and how we can serve our families and loved ones as well in your name. Lord God, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were able to see so many people participating in our worship service, and that was so wonderful. But it reminds us, too, about how much we miss one another. Lord, please encourage uh, our hearts. Help us to um, give one another a call or an email or a text message or whatever. Just help us to connect somehow, oh God. Lord, we pray, too that you will be with all of those in our congregation who are struggling with illness, whether it be mental or physical or spiritual, O oh God, we pray that you will be with them. Father, we pray too that you will be with Maple View Lodge. Uh, we saw it reported that uh, there have been a couple of cases of COVID-19 there. Lord, we hope and pray um, that somehow those turned out to be false positives. Um, that would be really, really wonderful. Um, but regardless, oh God, we pray that you will be with uh, be with the folks at um, be with the folks at Maple View Lodge. Thank you so much that things have not been worse there, uh, but they've been great there um, <clears throat> so far. Lord, we just pray that you will um, you will help the staff and and uh, residents there. Lord, <coughs> excuse me. We pray too. That you will be with uh, you will be with us as we listen to this message from Steve Coy too, Lord. Would you open our hearts to hear what you would have us hear from from him, from the words that you have given him, Lord? We pray that you will bless the ministry of uh, Geneva House, 
Lord, even though they cannot get together and their campus is closed down, uh, I know that they are doing all kinds of ministry online and various, uh, various things that they can do to encourage students. And uh, Lord, we just pray that you will bless uh, Steve and Julia and their whole family. Lord, we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.